Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen and this is the journaling type. <laughs> and today I have a video for inks and pens and just everything in between, which is what, stationary? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm crazy. I woke up like about an hour ago or half an hour ago and I'm still trying to like be here <laughs> i woke up a little bit late i went to work i went to bed late this has been crazy so um i have new inks and new pens i have new pens that i won't be ink inking today actually i would love to i just can't ink them because i have another ink coming up and every time i get new pens and i'm doing my pens and ink i'm always like oh yeah let me ink it up in this video or before this video and then when I get the new ink, I'm just wondering around what pen should I use? Okay, so yeah guys, uh, let me move this down here, put this little guy over here. And these are the new pens that I just received like, I don't know, about half an hour ago. Um, I've been waiting for this pen to come in for the longest time now because I said longest time, but only been like two to three days so um endlesspen.com i'm giving you a little bit of uh information guys endlesspen.com have this norwal norwal is that how you say it yeah this norwal pens for 50 percent off is it 50 or 40 percent off or like a 40 percent off or something like that they're actually right now 33 dollars let me see if this has a an actual price in my invoice no, no actual price in my invoice. Okay. Never mind. But this pens, they are actually right now on a 30, 40% off. And um, they are discontinuing. Uh, well, I don't know if they're discontinuing. But um, that's... My theory is that they're going... They're not going to have it for long. I mean, I, I think so. But I don't really, really know why they're so inexpensive right now um so i am not gonna question it you know <laughs> i did went online before i bought this and i went and, bought, and found a couple of videos and i watched videos about this pen because i didn't want to just buy a pen that i'm gonna be like oh here's a new pen and i don't really like how it writes or i don't like this and that and i sh i would have known if i did my research so I hate when I buy things and I don't do my research. So yeah. Um, but this Norwell is um, it's a broad nib. Do they have a little? Oh yeah, it does. It's a broad nib. And it's also um, called Original Plus. It's an edition from 2022. And this one is called, it's cold. It's cold. It's called um, Gold Us. Ocelatus? Ocelat? I don't know how to say that word. I don't know how to say that word, guys, because, like, I barely know how to say dog in English, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, it's hydrating, but, you see, I can't really say anything in English. So, um, let's go and open this up and take this little guy out of here. Actually, I never really... I didn't tell if they had anything... Oh, okay. So they have a couple different languages over there, over there. I can't even speak right now. What's going on? Um, so yeah. Okay. And so this is the pen that I got. So it, it is pretty, pretty, pretty. I I like the the gold. And then I like that yellow around the pen as well. And like I said, this is a median nib. And I mean a broad nib, sorry. This is a broad nib. And it has really, really nice um, nib. 
look at that it looks really pretty it has the brand on the nib as well i like those swirls and stuff like that i like it they look really nice one thing i did not like about this pen when i first got it it was that the cap doesn't screw in oh never mind i guess that's all preference right so yeah because i tried to put this on and the nib was all the way here in the back while this was like this and i was like oh my god i don't like that i don't i don't like how that looks so i'm trying to get it lined up here but i can't get it lined up with the clip so i think this is uh far enough i think i think this is a lot decent because earlier it was over here while the clip was in the front and it's not it's, it's nothing bad it's just like i see it and i'm like oh no i can't i can't it needs to be in the front right with the clip i don't know why <laughs> i just it's not lined and i don't like that <laughs> why <laughs> but um but it's okay it's fine it's not it's obviously it's just like my crazy preference um so I'm going to put this back in here, guys, because like I said, I just don't have an ink. I don't know if I said this because I probably cut it out, but I uh, I don't have an ink right now that I want to put in this pen. Um, to be honest, I, I really don't have an ink. I mostly bought it because I would like to try this pen. So I had a couple inks, but then I ink up my newest pens with them so i'm probably gonna buy a new ink soon because i found a new brand that which i'm gonna talk about it right here on this video too because i have a new ink from this brand and i have it inked it up in one of my pens as well too so i will be able to show you that and um and yeah it's, it's actually a pretty fun um color i really really like it so um so yeah guys <sighs> I talk too much but <laughs> no but this pen is gorgeous I really like it it's a bit heavy than I, what I what I thought it would be it is heavier than I thought but I actually want to try this pen today so I may try to find an an ink or something that I would like to use on this pen and um and yeah, because I really, really want to try this pen because I also want to buy their Stop Nib pen as well. And they have it on sale, obviously, all their sizes and all their colors of this one of the original um, Norwell. They are on sale right now. And I would love to score a Stop Nib from them. I just want to be sure that their pens are good before I actually spend some money on it and I don't like them. I tend to be a bit, you know, specific with the pens I use and uh, nibs are a hard thing to, good nibs are a hard thing to get and sometimes you get a good pen with a good nib and sometimes you get a pen with not a good nib. And the pen could be gorgeous, amazing, beautiful, well done, but the nib could be just horrible. But no, if the nib is really good, then I will definitely buy more because I do wanna, um, I, I'm trying to build up my, my selection of nibs. So when I find out a new brand, a brand or I found out a, a nib that I really like or is a smooth, I like to keep those because um, right now there's times that I'm like, oh, I wish I had a brown knit for this or I wish I had a stub knit for that. And I either have all the f my favorite pens inked up so I can't really ink any other ones or I don't have enough nibs or, or enough pens with those type of nibs. And if I do, their nibs are not so good. Like I have the Lamy ones, but they're brown nib. I don't like them. They're stub nib. I, I thought I liked them and then... They started kind of like being weird and not working so well. So maybe, I don't know if I did something or if it's the ink. But I got bored of it. And the other part that I don't like about Lamy is the grip. the How you 
grip the pen um that triangle shape i don't like it because i don't grab my pens like that so and now that i have carpal tunnel that is getting really really bad every day i am trying to figure out how to hold pens differently so that when i'm writing i can still keep writing but change my position that won't hurt so um a lamy doesn't work for me so we have here a Kaweco collection. This was also on sale on um, EndlessPen.com. And they had it for a... Actually, I was able to buy it for 35% off. So this one was a 35% off. Sorry. They have it in the clearance section for 35% off. Everything that you buy in the clearance sections is 35% off. If you try to mix anything that's from clearance through hop on or deals whatever it is you can't use you only be able to use one coupon code and um i choose the clearance one so it sucks because sometimes you want to buy some other stuff from other plate from other um part of this website and they have codes for those ones as well um but you can't use two different codes on checkout so you may have to do two different orders which is sucks because that means you have to pay for shipping two times so yeah um but this one is the sage is it that the, it doesn't say oh right on the sleeve 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 so it's a smooth sage and a double broad so i i've been meaning to buy a double broad actually i've been meaning to buy a a broad in general because I have double broads from Kaweco but I don't have a broad so I've been meaning to buy a broad from them for like a while so but the broad for this size for this color was out of stock and they only had a double broad and I can't argue with that I don't really care as much I love double broads from um Kaweco's so it's such a beautiful beautiful thick nib that just writes so amazing and if you have a, a nib, I mean a, a, an ink with glitter or sheen or whatever it is that the broad lines just look so good with that ink or that certain ink um but this is a really beautiful pen and and I really like the color the color is really nice I've been meaning to buy this color but Every time I want to buy a bunch of Kaweco from their collections and stuff, I am like, oh no, they have a new pen coming up, or this other pen is on sale, or whatever. Um, so, I end up not buying the pens, my Kawekos, and sometimes I regret it because then they are discontinued and I can't get them, or they're too expensive to buy them. So, yeah. Um, actually, a pen that I want to talk to you guys about, uh, real quick right now. Obviously, I'm going to take this out. I'm done with my little haul over here that I wanted to show you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. So, Benu brought their a new pen recently. And, um, actually, it's out of stock right now. But, um, we have common on goldspot.com. And, you know, to just see if they were going to keep doing um if they were going to bring back this pen because it got sold out real quickly i had the chance to buy two different sizes right when they came out i saw them i put them in my basket i almost checked out and everything but i didn't because i felt like oh my god no i don't want to buy this i don't want to spend money on it and I regret like a hundred percent of it. Like this is the only pen that I have bought in a while, and I'm including all this other pens that I just got. All this pen. This is the one pen that I have felt that I wanted to get it right then and there. And then I felt this just deep of 
sadness when I heard that this was out of stock real quickly and then somebody gold spent gold pen says we probably or we're gonna have it like next month or the end I don't know when it was and so I was like oh my gosh and I gotta wait all that time and what if they don't bring it back because they're out of stock and they can't get any more stock on them I'm like ah, I feel so bad so I don't know if I said it but it's the Banu um talisman is the sakura edition and it's such a gorgeous 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 pen it's a beautiful um blue and pink and beautiful i believe it has some glitter on uh, on it as well it's so pretty guys i cannot i have it open uh, i have a tab open in my ipad and on my phone i can not stop looking at this pen and i look at my emails all the time because i put in the alert for letting me know if this pen gets back in stock so i can go ahead and buy it real quickly so yeah let's come and talk about my newest pens um, inks and pens so oh god i'm pretty excited today Okay, so these are my new Opus 88 that I bought. These are this two, and I also got this purple one over here as well. Um, on this, as you can see, I'm still wearing. I'm still wearing. I'm still using this Kaweco and then this Ferris wool press. The Ferris Ferris wool press. I'm actually not using that much right now. Um, I just, I forgot where I had it and then I found it. I just need to clean it up. I'm not really using it as much. Um, I don't know why. I just like, I bought this other pants that I've been enjoying so, 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 so much. And I have this one mostly for like drawing or stuff like that to try new things or to make doodles and then use a little brush to like blend the color. But um, I really haven't been doing any of that because I've been journaling so much, guys, that I've been super, super happy. And this is a happy video, and I want to show you my happiness. So Opus Ideas is one of my favorite brands that I found out about this year, and they have been amazing with their nibs. I have not, I don't have any bad comments about their nibs because they're just so good that i don't have any anything bad to say about it i don't have anything there's nothing bad that i want to say about it and um this is the other pen i have right now inked up this is my benu that i cannot remember amber is it amber amber benu but i don't know what is the name of this of the uh brulet brulet i think it's brulet brulet something like that and it's the color amber this is such a gorgeous pen, and before buying this pen, new pen, I had in mind to buy the 2023 new pen, the green one, and I never did buy it because it got a bit expensive, and then at first it was out of stock, then it sold out, then they brought it back in another place, but they were like $170, and I'm not paying $170, the most I can do is $130, and it's for that Sakura one that I really want. Um, there's another color called um is it called jet green or, or something like that beautiful beautiful green with some uh, like basically the brulette but with green and some other colors on it um i don't know if it has some gold in it i can't remember but such a beautiful color and they have it an endless pen right now and you can i think you can use a coupon for it to get it for like 70 dollars or something or 76 but i haven't done it because like I said, I have all the pens in mind, so I am trying to figure out my crazy hat idea where I feel like I want to buy a new pen every day. Like, it's so crazy where I just feel like I want to buy a new pen every single day. It's so horrible. So, I have in here my Opal City A in a 1.4 stop nib, and in this pen, I have inked up with Colorverse. Hayabusa, Hayabusa. Um, I I believe isn't this a name for um uh, a bike? I I know that because it used to be a very popular word back years ago when people were buying like motorcycles and stuff. 
They're like, oh yeah, I got, I have a Hayabusa on home, and man, that one's just like super crazy. I want to buy this for that. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's a really nice, really nice, um, I, I look it up online and this color is kind of like a violet color. I thought it was like a purpley color, but it's more like a violet color because, um, the purple is a bit more into the pinkyish side. This one seems to be more into the cool tone side. Um, so yeah, and that's the one that I'm gonna use to do my little title, like I always do. This week, inks and pens, and that's what I'm gonna do here. Okay. pretty decent I mean somewhat <laughs> so um this nib is actually really really nice to write with it's my first 1.4 nib I'm gonna make sure that I'm saying that right yeah 1.4 nib um stop nib is my first first ever 1.4 and I am very enjoying this much I've been meaning to buy a bigger nib than 1.1 nib or a 1.1 stop nib because I had uh 1.1 stop nib and a 1.9 stop nib and the 1.9 stop nib felt like a little bit too big but the 1.1 felt a little bit too small sometimes so the 1.4 is actually a really really nice size for titles and stuff like that where i feel very comfortable with it obviously i'm not really doing this title very well because as you can see i did it all the way into this corner <laughs> i'm not center enough but it's okay like i mean it still writes well um so this is an Opus 88, so let's write. Let's start with an Opus, okay? This is an Opus 88 picnic. And should I put 1.4 here or should I put it down here? 1.4. do this thing here mm -hmm. seems pretty decent too <laughs> 1.4 not right here stop one point four stop and this one is the color verse um I got will sell Sorry if I'm kind of like a bit, my hands are hurting while I'm doing this, guys, so I have to take a little break. Give me a second. So this is actually a beautiful nib. I, I really like the nib. I like the color. Um, it's really, really nice color. I don't know what is it about this color, but I really do like it. And I am going to keep this color in here until everything is gone. So, um, because I really do like this ink and I will hate to waste it. So I am just going to try to use everything I can from this color here. And, um, we can put this one away now. Um, but as you guys notice, this pen writes so nice, doesn't skip on me, doesn't have any problems starting, doesn't have any problem stopping and starting again. Like it's a very beautiful pen that writes amazingly. And I don't want to oversell it because like I don't really think this nib is, or this pen is available right now just because they did have it on sale and now they don't. <laughs> I mean, they did have it on sale and they said it, the sale ends on, I don't know if the sale ended or something or it was into the product runs out, but 
um very amazing impressive pen that i really enjoy playing with so um i'm so happy i went into gold spot and found out about this pen being um, on sale because then later on I found out that these pens are being discontinued. Um, I talked with Goldspot in their Instagram and I told them that I really liked them, but I I didn't manage to get them all the colors. But I'm very I, I really like their nibs. And they said, "Well, you're lucky you got one because these pens are being discontinued by Opus 88." And I was like, "What?" And so that's why I was like, "I wish I bought another nib." But I wish I bought another stop nib and and maybe another broad nib because Opus 88 nibs are gorgeous. They are really amazing writers and um, I never have anything bad to say about their nibs and their writing um, experience. So I'm pretty excited with those colors. I mean, with those pens. <laughs> so... Another one that I have right now in here, I mean, this one is an Open 38 Picnic as well in a medium nib. And this medium nib, sometimes I'm like, oh, it writes a little bit like a, basically like a fine nib, like a fine medium nib. And it does not give me the vibe of a medium nib. But um, even so, I, I don't, buy i'm not buying a lot of fine or extra fine nibs lately because i i i have more of the scratchiness of the nib in in this pens sometimes they're not the best and what am i saying uh, well actually for example this is my unicorn unicorn in a way of a nib in an extra fine nib um, because this Kaweco, um, I, I'm still using this color and I, I mean, this Kaweco, you guys have seen this for like so many videos now and it's still using the platinum carbon ink in it as well. So I'm still using that one. I need to clean that is really dark in there and, and it's a good clean. I should clean this pen. Um, but this nib has the most amazing extra fine nib that I have tried in a Kaweco and the nib is just super nice to ride with and um being an extra fine nib doesn't damage doesn't like make it worse you know because some extra fine nibs are a bit scratchy or the a little bit feedbacky or um whatever it is the reason and this nib writes so well and i really really like this nib and so it's the only extra fine that i have that i would no matter what ink it up and take it with me because it's i don't know the experience of the ex this extra fine is amazingly and let me make sure this is an extra fine or not fine yeah it's an extra fine so this is my favorite favorite pen that i like to use i take this with me all the time it's always in this little pocket here and it's on my planner all the time and if i'm traveling i'm taking this one with me because it's so small i like the red and i also love the extra fine um so i don't really like that's a pen that i don't want to like give away i don't want to lose or anything because i really like it um but some pens don't really have good extra fines and i'm always so afraid of buying an extra fine that's gonna be scratchy and stuff like that and I'm going to lose some money on that. And knowing me, I will probably keep it just because I don't want to go and send it back or do a whole process. So whatever the reason is, I don't, I don't know. It feels weird um, and awkward and too much work. So I try to avoid it. So, um, but yeah, with this Opus 88, I don't really have an extra fine or a fine from them. Um, I only have a medium, a bra from them. And then um, this other pens that I just got and this medium. This is my first medium from um, Opus 88. And even so, after I said all that, um, it doesn't write bad. It's actually a good writer. It just looks smaller. That's like my only thing. It looks smaller. That's it. So this one is uh, Opus 88. Picnic. 
and a median nib and I'm using colorers and this one is called um, okay JFK <laughs> dog Bashinka. Okay, so it's a very nice writing experience. I like it. I, I'm, my hands are hurting again, so that's why um, this writing is not the best, but um, it's, it's actually a really nice nib. I didn't know what to expect at first. I thought it was gonna, cause I, I only have brought nibs from the Opus 88. So um, when I try all the brand nibs and even the sub nib, I really, really like it. So I was like, I don't know what to expect from a medium nib. Um, but even so it writes very nice. And um, it's, it's actually a very nice pen to carry with you. Has a really good bra, uh, a good medium, medium nib, you know, it's, it's medium-ish do we have a medium nib here that we can kind of like show like what medium nib but you see look at this double broad from um Koweko. it's not super broad but yeah i don't have a medium a medium nib anywhere here oh here opus 88 i thought i didn't i forgot about this one about the transparent blue I did bought a medium nib but look at this medium nib from a Opus 88 this is what I was saying so this Opus 88 medium here is a bit more like a fine slash medium nib while this Opus 88 medium nib here is more like a more broader kind of like the sister or brother of a broad nib <laughs> you know so that's why I was very confused why this is um was working like that. So So yeah guys, so let's go on to my next ink and pen that I received recently and this is my favorite pen that I've been using lately and my favorite ink that I have been loving from the Colorverse um inks that I recently received so this is a picnic and i forgot to write in here every color of the picnic like purple and a green and blue but now that i remember blue i will do blue so this one is a broad nib from opus 88 so we're going to see a little bit of comparison between a media nib and the broad nib from opus 88 and um let's do that opus 88 Picnic. Ah, oh, fudge. Forgot to see over here. Never mind. Um, broad nib. I want to put blue here, but I should do it here. Blue. And we have colorers. Um, this. Grab. Ah! Gravity wave. Okay. Okay. Hands writing again. Gotta put this down. Oh, God. Okay, guys. So, um, this actually is a really, really pretty blue. Um, it has a kind of like a red. Is it a red or a pink? I forget. Um, kind of a sheen to it. It's a very, very nice. You can see all the colors close up here. At least the Opus 88 Picnic one. So... And this blue is so gorgeous which is funny because i have another blue that is kind of like similar to this color but not exactly um 
and I'm receiving a new blue in the mail um, pretty soon that I can't really say much about it right now but when I get it and I do the video on it I'll be able to show you guys and you'll see that it's so funny because they're all kind of in that same color range and they're all kind of like with the same type of um you know maybe a little bit like the sheen or there may be shimmer and they kind of like the same shimmer or similar to the shimmer or similar look as the other one but with a different shimmer i don't know they're really really pretty and um i can't wait to show you guys and i will show you one of them right now because i have it here um but it's so gorgeous <sighs> can't even but before that we're gonna go and um use my other pen so I can get that out of the way. Okay. So my next color that I, my next pen that I have here and that I want to use is another Opus 88. This is my first, first, first Opus 88 that I bought from the brand. And um, this is the year of the Tiger 2022. Uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it was going to be out of, I mean, sold out on endless pen i think about this on endless pen as well and they had it on sale for also in clearance 35 percent off so i was able to get this pen for about 40 dollars maybe um yeah for about 40 to 50 dollars which is a great great amount to pay for this pen so my first one was a brown nib which is why i was so afraid to buy this pen because I was afraid that this brown nail was going to be too broad for me or I was never going to use it. And man, was I wrong. This pen was the one that opened my eyes to this brand and made me fall in love with this brand so much and their nibs so much that I just don't think, I, I feel like sometimes I'm like, I don't want anything else but Opal City 8. <laughs> so. My new ink on this one is a Ferris Wool Press Glistening Glass and I have posted some pictures and uh, I'm not sure about video but yes a picture of this ink in my Instagram so you guys can go and look at it over there um this is a gorgeous ink I really really like this ink this ink is amazingly well done I like the shimmer in it I like everything from this ink I can't tell you enough like how much I like this ink and I constantly use it and um actually right here i have a week where i just use this nib but only this nib for a whole week so here it is i use this nib for a whole week in my um hobonichi weeks and is gorgeous it's such a gorgeous color with such an amazing shimmer shimmer is a gold shimmer while the color is kind of like a gray a blue gray color but with gold shimmer on it, it's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna start with brand of the nib or the pen. You see that? Opus 88. And this one is um, year of the tiger. It's called something else that I can't really remember the name of this pen. Pocket, is it? I don't know. And then we have Ferris Will Press. Oh, Fudge. I forgot. It's a broad nib. It's a broad nib. And then this one is... um. Glass. Yes, did I write that right? Yes, I did. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, sorry, this is Opus 88, You're the Tiger in a brown nib with the first wool press glistening glass. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's a, a very, very nice color. Um, I, I do have to say that for being or having some red sheen, I can't really see much or any of that red sheen in here. Not going to lie. So I see a lot of good 
really nice glitter in here, but not that red sheen. Maybe I just didn't got much of the ink in my pen. Um, that has happened before. And I will show you which one it is because I have it here. Okay. So, because I'm talking about Ferris Wheel Press, I must as well. I may as well just talk about all of them right now. And then go to my last pen. And then we can be done with this video, guys. Because it's, it's a long one. It's a long one, guys. It's a long one. <laughs> so, okay. My other pen that I have in here um, is this Koweco that I showed you guys in my last video. But I will show you again. This is a double brand nib with three different parts from three different Kowecos. This is from the Lime. Yeah, the Lime Frosted Collection. This is from the Blueberry Frosted Collection. And this one is a Gold Shimmer or Shimmer or Gold, whatever it is, from a Colt Pants um, edition that they, you know, got together and made a pen, Colt Pants and um, Go Wet Go. So I bought this in a double broad nib, which is a gorgeous nib. And it's my first double broad nib that I have ever purchased and my favorite so far. Um, so it's the only brand that I could, I have bought a double broad nib. So on here I have my first wool press um, and this is cloak and forest. I've been having this ink in here for the longest time and um, it has been one of my favorite inks that i still am using on my journals and i'm still using on um i'm just in general when i want to write something i like this i like to use this pen and the reason is because it does have some glitter on it is uh silver glitter silver shimmer in it i think yeah it has silver shimmer but this color is, it has a base of green. It has a sheen, a red sheen that I really, really love. It has the silver shimmer that I I didn't got any or basically nothing in this pen when I inked it up. And it has some low shading. Uh, my favorite here is that green and red. It's so pretty. I love to see how this color actually looks when it dries. So um, I was really happy with this color. Go in and write this one down. This one is a Koweco. Oh, look at it. Koweco. And I'm just going to put here as a double broad. That's what I'm going to do. Um, nib. And then we have in here a Ferris. Well, press. And this is called Cloak in Forest. And this is a gorgeous color. Such a gorgeous nib. This, this nib is gorgeous. The color is gorgeous. I love everything of this pen, of this ink, is just amazingly gorgeous. This is about it for my first wool press inks. I have another first wool press here, show you real quick, but I have nothing with this. This is the blue Yosemite Falls. I used to say Yosemite. Can you believe that? But I found out the right way to say it and I found it. Yosemite Falls. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, um, shade of blue. I, I like this blue. I did some like little drawing and stuff like that or coloring in my in a video. So if you guys want to go check that out, you should. Um, I like this ink. I, I, I really do. I just don't not like how light 
it is and for me it doesn't work out for my pens i felt that i was pressing too much the ink down or too much the pen to get more of a darker color because i could barely see what i was writing or what i i could barely read what i was writing and i have a little sample here because i wrote with that ink for a whole week as well and um here it is so I wrote with that ink for a whole week and this ink at first I had a twist be fine to write with this and I kind of didn't like it and then I moved into a um Coweco and then I started using this in a Coweco and it was the worst thing because the fine nib could actually get more of uh, darker lines than the medium nib and um I did not like the medium nib of the Coweco so I was not super like happy about it but it was only the last three days or the last two days whatever so I was like okay fine I use this ink and I'm done and the ink is nice it's just not the it's not nice as in for like writing for me I just don't like how light it is I think it's a great ink for like the doodles that I made and stuff like that it's a great ink for building up it can definitely build a, a darker blue for sure but for writing for me it didn't do much so yeah i used it for a whole week and that was it so i want to see if i can kind of like give it another use um maybe if i can keep using it for doodles and stuff like that i think it will be nice so yeah um now my last ink that i have to show you guys and pen is um, before I, I want to tell you guys, I'm not showing you this one because I already did show you guys the cross pen with a medium nib. I think I did. And I'm also not inking or showing you this one, which is the first will press. And I can't remember what ink I have in here because this pen, it will be, I will be cleaning it up about today or tomorrow. So it's no reason to put them in here. Okay, guys, my last ink. Here it is. This ink, I went last week, I think it was, to um, the paper mouse shop, and they had this brand called Weringul, Weringul, Wering, I don't know how to say that word, um, but I, I think I've seen pictures of this once here and there, and I was like, oh yeah, I've seen that, but I never really like intrigue and buy any of their inks or buy any of their... Or looking at any other inks as well online so when i went there and i saw this ink they have all of their inks they have it swatched which is great because then you can know what you're actually buying and when i noticed this one the first one in the page i was like oh okay well i don't think nothing at nothing from here actually caught my eyes like this color and it's called wayfair and it's such a pretty color man oh so pretty look at this bottom what so gorgeous this bottle is so big and it's actually how many 30 mils yeah so 30 is not that bad for 20 i bought it for 22 if i'm not mistaken and oh my gosh this color is gorgeous and um, one of the staff from there, he had his pen inked up with this color. I wrote with that and I was like, oh yeah, that looks so pretty. Oh wow. But I couldn't really tell much. So yeah, I'm sorry. I was opening this um, out of the way. But this is my Ben Nude. And I do not know the actual name of this. So I'm going to leave it blank and then later on, I'm, I'm going to write Ben Nude here. And I will write the nib too. But then I can write the name and the word in later. Because I can't remember. So. This is a gorgeous Benu. In a medium nib. And. Blah, 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 blah. I think that can fit in there. <laughs> and then we have. We're in Tokyo. I don't know how to say that, so I didn't even say it. 
and it's called Wayfair. Wayfair? Yeah, Wayfair. Okay. I wonder if you can see that. Sorry, my my um table cricks. <laughs> but it's a beautiful color. I don't really get it all the way in all the letters and sometimes I don't even get it in every word I or every line I write. But on this one actually showed up pretty well. Um, and you can see that Ferris will press cloak and forest. Oh my god, this color is gorgeous. I love it. All these colors are gorgeous. Um, but I have favorites. I definitely have favorites. And this cloak and forest from Ferris will press is one of my favorite, including this glistening glass. It's also my favorite. Um, I do like this uh, wearing gill, wearing gill. I always forget either the little thing for the T or the dot on the I. I don't know why. Um, but all these colors are starting to, I seem to like them more and more. I have a lot of inks and I don't really have a lot of inks that I enjoy writing with. And I'm happy that I'm happy that this batch of pens that I'm using um, last week and this week are inks that I really, really enjoy looking at. And they're really fun and I love the sheen and I love the shimmer and I think I have a good selection of ink for the past week and they're still going to be my pens and ink for this week because I enjoy them very much. Yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. <laughs> so um, let me go ahead and write this down, and then we can do an outro, and then that's it, guys. Do this. So, um, I'm very happy I was able to do this video uh, this week because I've been meaning to do this video for a while now, for two weeks now, for a week now, and um, but I I got all this other ink as well, like last week or during this week. So, um, in some ways, I was actually really happy that I didn't do the video so that I can show you all my new video, all my new inks that I receive, which are all of this ones right here and i'm very excited about them and i also have my new pens that i wanted to also show you guys which is on uh, my newest opus 88 that i received this week as well i believe i received this i believe i received this last week actually not this week last week yeah i received this last week so sorry okay guys so basically this is it for today i am very excited about this video i'm excited that you guys were here i'm excited that i was able to share this with you guys and i'm excited in general about everything that i'm using i've been really really in a happy mood lately that everything has been working so well that i've been able to journal so much like last month i journaled so much 
and I was so happy with myself. I was happy that I was able to write things down. I was happy that I was able to journal and put stickers on. I was happy that I was able to clear out my stationary stuff. Like every, like yesterday, I clear out some of my um, junk stuff and I put it in my journal because I have like a little junk journal basically. And I put them in there and I was so happy I was able to Put those in my drunk journal that i've been meaning to do for a while now i really hope you enjoyed this video i will try my best to keep every information down below i'm gonna try to add all the inks that i use and all the pens that i i name in here and i'm gonna try to add them down below and hopefully i can ha have like a little stamp uh stamp a time stamp so you guys can go into those pens that you're looking for or if you're coming back to the video and you're like looking for a specific pen or ink that I was talking about, you can just go and click on that and then it will take you to exactly that. So, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, you can comment down below and I will answer to them as soon as possible. Okay, God bless you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy Easter. And I will see you all later, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Happy April. Bye-bye. <laughs>